This video continues our look at Ohm's Law and is about improving your understanding of it for electrotechnical exams and for everyday workplace use. Electrotechnical exams will include questions on Ohm's Law and you will be expected to make basic calculations. Do you understand the different types of resistor circuit? Can you find resistance values for series, parallel and series parallel resistor circuits? How would you answer this question? You are asked what value of single resistor will replace the resistor matrix shown? And you are given four possible answers to choose from. So how would we even start with this? Let's work through this together. We should remind ourselves about the basic rules of calculating the values of resistor combinations. With a series resistance all in a line, we simply add all the values together. So the two 6 ohm resistors shown could be replaced with just one 12 ohm resistance. We say that the effective resistance is 12 ohms. And with all series resistances, the value increases as more resistors are added. The effective resistance will always be bigger than the biggest resistor. Parallel resistors are completely different. We must calculate the effective resistance and there are two formulas to do this. The two 6 ohm resistors are side by side and share common nodes. They are connected to the same place at the top and at the bottom. The first formula is the MAD formula, M-A-D. This is short for multiply, add, divide. We take our two values and multiply them together on the top row. Then we add them together on the bottom row. Finally, we divide the top row by the bottom row and this is our answer. Multiply, add, divide. In our case, we have 36 on the top, divided by 12 on the bottom. Our new resistance value is 3 ohms. 3 ohms is less than 6, and we will find that the effective resistance is always smaller than the smallest resistor. The second method is the reciprocal method, and can be used for any number of resistors in parallel. It can be used for just two resistors, but we tend to use it for three and above. It tells us that one divided by the total or effective resistance will be found by adding together all the individual resistors divided into one. So here, one over RT is equal to one over six plus one over six plus one over six. Added together, this comes to 0 0.5, rounded up. So one over RT is 0 0.5 and we need RT on the top. To get RT on its own, simply divide 1 by 0 0.5 and out pops the answer 2 ohms. Three 6 ohm resistors in parallel have an effective resistance of just 2 ohms. And we can compare the two different types of circuit on this slide. For a series circuit, we add the resistances and the values increase. For a parallel circuit, we must calculate an answer and the value of the resistance always decreases. Where should we begin then with the resistor matrix? We can calculate the single effective resistance for the parallel resistors that have common nodes. The red resistors here have common nodes, so we can calculate these as a parallel pair using the MAD formula. We will put numbers in later, but for now we are just looking at the method. Now the blue resistors, as they have common nodes too. We can calculate these as a parallel pair and use the MAD formula again. Multiply, add, divide. Now we can look at them as series resistors with common nodes. In this case, the yellow nodes. We have resistors in series that can be added together. Then we have the red and blue resistors that can be added together and the single resistor on its own. This now leaves us with three resistances in parallel and we have a formula that works this out for us, the reciprocal formula. One calculation now and we will have our final answer. In just a few easy steps, we can convert the matrix into just one effective resistance. So let's do this calculation together. Let's put some numbers in and find an answer. Pause the video at any time for greater understanding and do work through the calculations with us using a calculator and notepad. Look for parallel resistors with common nodes 
that can be made into one resistance value. Begin with the two red resistors in parallel. Using the MAD formula as shown, these become one 6 ohm resistor. Now look for another pair of parallel resistors, which in this case is the blue pair. Use the MAD formula again, and we have an effective resistance of 8 ohms. Hopefully, you're working along with this and get the same answer. Now we can work on the series resistances. Starting on the left, 10 plus 4 is 14 ohms. In the centre, 6 plus 8 is also 14 ohms, and that leaves the single 7 ohm resistor on the right. We now have three parallel resistors, and we can use the reciprocal formula to calculate this. 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. That gives us 1 over 14 plus 1 over 14 plus 1 over 7. Add these three together and we have 0 0.2857. And RT, the effective resistance, is 1 divided by 0 0.2857. Our answer is 3.5 ohms. We should choose answer B. All of this resistor matrix is equivalent to a single 3.5 ohm resistance. It's over to you now. Have a go at these two exercises. The first one is exactly the same layout as we have just worked through, but with different numbers. What single value resistance can replace the matrix shown here? And you should choose one answer from the four choices offered. Pause the video and calculate your answer before looking at the next slide. Your answer should match one of the choices offered. You should have 9 ohms as your answer, choice C. Here is how it's calculated, starting on the left. 15 plus 12 in series is 27 ohms. Then, 20 in parallel with 60 is 15 ohms, and 30 in parallel with 20 is 12 ohms. Add these together, as they've become series resistors now, and we have 15 plus 12 is 27 ohms. And then the 27 ohm resistor stays as it is. That leaves us with three 27 ohm resistances in parallel. Use the reciprocal formula for the three resistors and we have an answer of 9 ohms. If you are unsure, go over the calculations again. The more that you practice, the better you become. And have a go at exercise number 2 now. The same method will apply. All we've done is to rearrange the resistors slightly and change the numbers. Remember to pause the video whilst you do your calculations. The question asks, find the effective single resistance that can replace the matrix shown here. And again, there are four possible answers, but only one is correct. Remember to pause the video whilst you calculate your answer. And you should choose answer D, which is 5 ohms. We've shown the calculations in shorthand again, starting on the left as before. 5 in parallel with 20 is 4 ohms. And 4 ohms plus 16 is 20 ohms. For the centre, 3 plus 2 plus 5 is 10 ohms. And now the right hand side, 16 in parallel with 16 is 8 ohms. Add 8 ohms to 12 ohms, and we have 20 ohms. That gives us three resistances in parallel. 20 ohms, 10 ohms, and 20 ohms. Finally, use the reciprocal formula, and we will have our answer, 5 ohms. A quick summary. Series resistances can be added together, and the resistance value will always increase. It will always be greater than the biggest of the original resistors. Parallel resistance values need to be calculated, and the effective resistance value will always decrease. The effective value will always be smaller than the smallest original value. There are two formulas to use for parallel resistances. For two parallel resistances, use the MAD formula, multiply, add, divide, as we did in the video. And for three or more resistors, use the reciprocal formula, as shown in the video. The more you practice, the better you will become at these exercises. And we will leave a link in the description that will take you to the first video in this mini-series with more questions, answers and worked examples to help you. Thank you for watching. 
It really is appreciated. And we hope that you found this video useful. Make up some exercises for yourself. Practice parallel and series resistances to improve your skills. It will always be useful. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos. And remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget, you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, so don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again very soon.